Hi friends, in today's video I am going to be demonstrating cards 3 and 4 from my June 2023 Customer Appreciation Card class. Uh, I also want to send out a great big thank you to all of you who have reached out to me either through emails or comments on this uh, YouTube forum. Uh, all your personal messages making sure I'm okay with these Nova Scotia fires and I am. Uh, fortunately we live closer to the Cape Breton side of the province where we were fine uh, so we weren't in the evacuation areas or the fires directly but we did have friends and family who were and fortunately they are fine. So scary time indeed but it sure does warm my heart knowing that so many of you care and have been checking in on me. So thank you so much. So that being said, let's have some fun stamping together and I can't wait to share these cards with you. Uh, so I'm going to use the Wildlife Wonder stamp set. I also have a piece of crumb cake that is cut at uh, four and a quarter and it measures 11 across, scored at five and a half. I have another piece of crumb cake. This measures four by five and a quarter and I have already run this through my embossing folder. Now this is the Fern embossing folder. One of my all time very favorite embossing folders. We actually used these on our wedding invitations last summer. So this embossing folder right here, page 168. So what I am going to do is kind of a fun technique. Well, there's nothing kind of about it. It is a fun technique. Okay, we're gonna be wild and crazy with this card. We are pulling in gorgeously made. Look at this really cool, uh, TypeScript image. I am going to emboss that on top of this embossed. So we've got the embossing folder embossing and we're going to have uh, heat embossing embossing. Uh, so I'm going to put this on and I'm going to stamp it with Versamark and emboss it with gold. Now I did not um, rub an anti-static bag over this because I don't mind if I get excess embossing powder on this layer because that's going to add to the fun look. Okay, let's add some gold. Just sprinkle that on. Let's heat that up. So cool. And of course on the raised embossed bits, that gold is raised up so you've got gold inside the little debossed and above it and I think I want some more gold on there um, but I'm thinking let's use a different image now I don't want to hide all my my ferns but let's just let's just stamp here and there and see what happens because that's what it's all about in my opinion is just playing and seeing what you come up with. Okay, I'm really pleased with that because it gave me some more um, bold boldness with the type. Okay, I'm pulling in my Lost Lagoon ink pad and I'm going to start sponging randomly onto my um, crumb cake. So I'm just rubbing some off on my scrap paper first and I'm just going to add some here and there. So you're not really going to see a whole lot of crumb cake on this layer when I'm finished with it. Okay, I think, I think that's good because I want to pull in some other blues. I'm now going to pull in this beautiful new Azure Afternoon. And I think I'm going to use the same blending brush because I don't have... Yeah, yeah, it's good enough. Alright, so let's pull some of that in. Oh my gosh, look how nice and bright that is. Let's pull in some green. I'm going to use some Granny Apple. Oh my word. Look it. I love how that brightens it up as well. Like, isn't that pretty? All right. 
I'm going to add um, one more color. Add a bit of um, Calypso Coral. Let's add a little bit of Calypso Coral. I thought I would bring in some black so you can see um, really well the gold embossing, the fern embossing, and those beautiful inks on this card. So I've gone ahead and cut out my um, pieces I'm going to stamp on. So this is from the, um, this is a something fancy die. So this piece, this crumb cake, was cut out with this die. This is basic white. This was cut using this die. So this is a really versatile, awesome set of dies. I'm going to stamp my bear with early espresso. Okay. Now I know I'm only going to get a bit of that bear in there, but that's okay. Okay, so now I'm going to take this stamp and my crumb cake. Actually, no, I'm going to use Granny Apple. Um, Granny Apple. Did not look like Granny Apple. No, I grabbed Old Olive by mistake. All right, let's try the Granny Apple. Let's try that again. Clean my stamp off. It's like they don't look right. Oh, but I, you see, this is why there's no such thing as mistakes. I love that where I've got the two layers, um, two shades of green in there. I think that looks great. With first a mark. And this time I am going to use my embossing buddy because I don't want gold where it's not supposed to go. I'm just going to stamp the thank you right there. Okay, so I've got my thank you. And I am going to, uh, I'm going to put a dimensional on this end over here. And glue on this end. Okay, now I'm going to stamp the insides. Okay, and I'm going to use Calypso Coral for all the great things you do. And I'm going to bring in my Azure Afternoon and I want to Remove the, the Calypso Coral that's on the word great. So I'm just um, taking my blending pen and I'm literally just picking it up with my blender pen and go back and forth on my scrap paper. Just a, a great little way to remove ink off your stamp if you don't want to tape it off. So now I'm taking my marker and I'm just going to go right on top of that word. I did jiggle it. I thought I had. When I went to go stamp it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I just jiggled it. And I did a little bit, but not enough that I'm going to um, stress over that. Uh, now I'm going to stamp uh, the same way. Only this time I'm going to use the stamp image you mean so much to me. Okay, I'm just taking my balmy blue, putting it on a block, and this part is optional 
but it's something I want to do because this card is for my my guy, my main squeeze. And so I just want to add a little light wash of the balmy blue around my bear. So I'm going to start here. And just kind of gives a little bit of dimension like a little bit of a sky and I'm trying to be careful not to pull on that brown because that brown of course will bleed right do the same thing with this one to bring in my crumb cake and my blending pen and I'm just dabbing it a little bit into the ink pad and I want to be really really light and I want to color in this white bit on his head it was just an afterthought I had and I'm just gonna pull in some of this color as well I'm going to take my black marker and using the tip, I'm just going to go right on top of where his eye and his nose are just to make them stand out better. And then to finish the card, I'm just going to take some metallic dots, keep it real simple and put one on each side of the sentiment. And that is my finished card. The last card features the Lay Shop Suite Collection, which has this super cool stamp set, the coordinating dies, the beautiful Lay Shops Designer Series paper, and this suite also has the um, loose silver sequins. Uh, I don't think I'm using them on today's card, but we are using everything else. And this is just such a cool, cool uh, card. Let me show you the one that I made already. So this is where um, I have just taken the designer series paper and I've layered it up so that you get dimension. Isn't that cool? Really, really fun. And you can imagine all the cards you can get out of this designer series paper. In this month's card kits for this card, you are going to have your basic white card base that measures eight and a half by five and a half scored at the four and a quarter mark get a good crease in that and then I have gone through and cut out um, some bits and pieces from the designer series paper so um, some of you um, who are going to receive these card kits are going to have different stores this is the little art store and you're going to have a full image and you're going to have a bit of an image where some pieces might be cut off and that's just because I did not want to toss these little bits, you know, depending on how you cut your paper out, right? It's going to cut some bits and pieces off. Um, but these are perfect for the type of card I'm going to share with you today. So you're going to have your store. And then there's going to be a bunch of goodies inside this envelope. You're going to have a lamp post. You're going to have two um, greenery branches, a piece of Calypso coral. This is for the sentiment, the little bench that I just love so much. You're either gonna have a flower pot or a plant pot or a little um, stand. You'll see the little stands that are on this designer series paper and then using a different pattern from the same pack of paper, I um, have die cut them with this die that coordinates with this image in the stamp set. And I also ran it through the rope 
embossing folder. So it's kind of maybe hard to see. I think you can see it a bit, but we're going to add some ink to that. So that's going to pop it right off. So let's put these bits aside and do some cutting out. So I'm just going to do some fussy cutting around this plant pot. On the second piece, you can cut out as much or as little as you want. So I am going to cut out this canopy. And there's a lot I can cut out from this piece actually. I'm going to cut out the door and the window. So depending on um, the scrap pieces that you have when you're making this card, you might have just a door or just the canopy. Um, but it, you're certainly getting a lot of mileage out of this designer series paper and nothing is being wasted. I think that this is part of the sign, this little paintbrush, so I'm going to cut that out too. Okay, there's all my pieces. So I'm going to put those aside, bring my card in, and now I'm going to, um, First of all, bring in my piercing mat because I like to use that when I'm stamping with photopolymer. I have uh, this image on my stamp right now. You could use either one of these for this next step because the top portions of the image are the same. So I'm going to take my um, basic gray and go right across. And I'm kind of leaving out the little squiggly bit. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to do that. And I am going to stamp it, um, I'm going to stamp it, it doesn't matter if you go up and down, um, you know, if it's right side up or upside down, just make sure that when you stamp it a second time, it's going in the same direction. So just kind of line it up like so. Don't worry, there's little bits missing. I'm going to do that again. I'm actually going to go this way now. Okay. And now I'm going to pull in my smoky slate ink pad, put some onto the block. I'm going to bling, bring my blending pen in, pick some of that up. And I'm just going to go right across, just like so. And this will all make sense in just a few minutes. Okay, I'm also going to pull in this gray on the inside the stamped image. A lot of this is going to be hidden behind all those little cut bits. Okay. So I'm bringing in my little plant plant pot and I'm taking my garden green marker and I'm just going to color in the top portion of this image and stamp it right on top of that line. I think I'm going to do three of these. I'll put one right here as well. Bring in my blending pen again and pull in that color. Isn't that cool how you can do that? Okay, bring in my scrap paper again. I always like to do this before I put the cap on so I know that there's no more ink left on that tip and it's ready to go for the next card. Okay, time to start sticking some of these pieces together. So I have some uh, adhesive foam bits here. So I'm just going to put that on. And this is quite a tall image, so I'm not sure. I might be putting my sentiment somewhere a little bit different on this card. So I'm going to put this right about there. See how it's coming together? This bit goes here, right? Let's do the window first, actually. I'm going to use a Stampin' Dimensional for this 
and I'm just gonna put it on but I'm gonna lower it down just a smidgen and off to the side then I'm gonna take my adhesive sheet scrap bit and cut a tiny bit and I actually use my scissors to kind of hold those little bits okay turn that over put that on so this is going to be raised up a little bit more than that window okay now we have this bit and I'm actually going to take my bone folder and just go um, back and forth it'll kind of break the fibers in the paper so it's not quite so rigid and straight and flat okay so I'm actually gonna fold on this line a little bit and I'm gonna fold on this line a little bit Right? Look at that dimension! So cool. So I'm going to take my foam adhesive strip again. I'm going to put a piece of the adhesive strip on the bottom portion. And I'm going to take my glue and put a little bit on the top portion. Let's take that off first. Okay. So, I want that bit bent a little bit more. So I'm going to put my image down just a little bit lower than that original line. I'm going to use my take your pick tool to push that down. and then push down on the adhesive. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Take Your Pick tool and I'm just gonna lift up and curl just a bit. Kinda hard in the middle, but there we go. So see how that adds that awesome dimension and shadow? I love it. Now this piece here, I'm going to take my blending brush and my crushed curry and I'm going to go lightly across the top which will pull out that embossed um, texture just a little bit more but then I'm going to just go around the edges to add some depth. And that's our doormat. I'm going to put that right there, like so. Okay, my little flower pot that I cut out earlier, I'm going to put a dimensional behind that. And I'm just going to tuck that right there, like so. And my bench, I'm going to fold it. Cut out another piece from my foam adhesive. I'm going to put glue on this bottom portion. Okay, so I'm going to put my bench right about here. Put my lamp post on with some glue as well. I'm going to take my Daffodil Delight marker and put that in the center. And my crushed curry marker and I'm just going to dab a little dab there and a little dab there so it looks like there's a light bulb in there and I need to ground this lamp post so I've just taken my gray ink pad again on my blender pen just to kind of add a little bit of gray underneath that so it doesn't look like it's floating in outer space and now we have these greeneries okay. 
I am inking up my image with my white ink pad and stamping it onto my Calypso Coral and then I'm going to put on my powder. For my banner, I'm going to flag it on both ends. Then, right at the end of my word, I'm going to snip those off. So I'm just going to center that right along the top. And take my glue and glue these right behind. my finished card oh my goodness so much fun so I have three other ones that I've made so the first one you've already seen I've shown that at the beginning and you can see what I did with the window there and then I have a little bakery let's get those out of the way so you can see my little bakery things popped up and then my little bookstore and I stamped the birds from beside me because as I mentioned in my last video I use that image a lot but it just adds a little something something to the cards I think I love these cards so much I think they are so stinking cute and I just can't wait to make more they are just really neat with that dimension really easy to make this one here I didn't even cut the flags off to glue them so you can just keep it simple like that but I do like how you get kind of that 3d ribbon look when you do that but either way easy easy and so much fun So there you have it friends, this month's cards for my customer appreciation card class and of course the PDF tutorial is available for all of you. It's listed in this, the uh, description down below and I hope you've enjoyed the uh, video demonstrations for this month's class as well. So thank you so much, take care and happy stamping.